Carly Fiorina hit Donald Trump on his bromance with Russian President Putin. Former world chess champion, author of Winter is Coming, Human Rights Foundation Chairman Gary Kasparov is with me now. Gary, first and foremost, it is a real pleasure to speak with you. Thank, Thank you for, you for coming me. in. You have said that the current Russian president, Vladimir Putin, is like Don Corleone as far as American audiences can understand him, meaning manipulative, Absolutely. will stop at nothing to grab power. Yes. Is that the right extraction? Yes, we can go on, but that's okay. That's, that's enough for a short introduction. So what does that mean then in this presidential, we are in a presidential cycle in this country, how should candidates see Putin? What should they understand but about him? Donald Trump, again, showed his uh, ignorance um, by suggesting that uh, uh, he could be a pal with Vladimir Putin and he could make a deal with him. Um, Putin doesn't make deals that don't suit him. So he knows how to deal with people who are trying to make deals with him, like Italy's Silvio Berlusconi or former German uh, Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder, um, because Putin's uh, uh, policy is uh, it's repression, it's uh, foreign aggression, it's corruption. And uh, America and uh, the world, they need a president who will not uh, try to uh, uh, make friends with thugs like Iran, Iranian mullahs or Putin, but someone who can stand to him. So essentially you are saying to think that anyone can negotiate in this idea that a common compromise or middle ground will be met will be severely disappointed. Look, you know, it's, you have to negotiate. I mean, this is, this, the diplomacy is, is still a very important tool. Ronald Reagan did negotiate with Gorbachev, but he knew that there were certain values that he had to protect. And the way that you're describing each leader, the implication is Gorbachev was a very different kind of leader than Putin. Am I right? Yes, but uh, it's, what's very important is Gorbachev has been dealing with a very different kind of leader who was in charge of, uh, of uh, Oval Office and who was a leader of the free world, Ronald Reagan, who knew how to deal with communist dictators. And um, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's just, we hear a lot in, the, in these debates about you know, making deals about uh, America sort of uh, going back, you know, basically following Obama's line. So, I mean, Ted Cruz could sound very different from Obama, but at the end of the day, you know, he and Donald Trump are suggesting a, a different version of the same policy of America retreating from the uh, world stage. Who would be the best president from what you've seen? You can change your mind later, right this second. Who strikes you as the strongest candidate? Uh, it's, it's after yesterday's debate, I'm convinced that the only one who can carry the shield of America as a global leader, it's Mark Rubio. I mean, he, he, he talks about the very important issues. He understands, you know, the foreign policy, and he believes in what he's saying. This is, this is quite important. I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not trying to promote, you know, his agenda no, no, domestically, no, no, I but, but, but I believe that, you know, next, uh, the next U.S. president will have to restore the credibility of the Oval Office, the credibility of, of uh, this great country and also of the free world. And, you know, um, the next president will have to deal with emboldened enemies of the free world, with, uh, with Putin, with Iranian mullahs, with all sorts of terrorists uh, and thugs that now are, you know, are quite encouraged by American weakness. Gary, please come back. I would love to consider continuing the conversation. Gary Kasparov joining me there. In the meantime, author of Winter is Coming.